I'm a nuts and bolts filmmaker with 24 years of experience, and I mostly work as a director and a DP. Uh, I'm also a member of IBW5, and very recently I got my days in IOC 489. So I, I'm with these guys. I'm professional. <laughs> what are the essential functions of your job and people you work with on a day-to-day -day basis in your job? Yeah. Uh, I do two things. I'm an art director and a production designer. Just started production designing, so I will talk about art direction. So an art director works with the production designer to bring the vision of the film to life. Uh, the production designer will work with the, deck, with the uh, director to try to materialize that vision. So as an art director, I like to say that the production designer draws a little sketch on a napkin, and then I have to make it happen. So I supervise a team of people that includes um, set designers, uh, graphic designers. I work with a construction department that builds all the sets. And then I work in uh, post-production with visual effects and helps design that. So in a nutshell, that's what I do. Stephen? Um, my job's, well, I direct when I can. I produce when I absolutely have to. Um, my main job is first assistant director, which is a little different from everybody that's up here because it, it's kind of an umbrella job. It's not in one department. And in essence, I, would, I get hired very early on to get the script, break it down, and considering a million factors, locations, actors' availabilities, you know, just everything you possibly can, how expensive each actor is. I do the schedule that we eventually have to make sure happens. So very, very early in the process, I come on and I do a schedule and uh, based on the script. And then through pre-production, I'm kind of in charge of liaisoning with all the departments, making sure that they're getting prepped uh, at the pace they should be, getting the milestones. On television, when the new director comes in, I've got to get them to meet all the folks and, and get show and tells of, of the various things, the wardrobe, the costumes, uh, the makeup, the, the art, just everything. And basically, through pre-production, you're organizing the shoot to make sure that it's doable when you get there on the day. Um, you know, you create a scout with the director and find out what their vision of things is, and then you break it down into all the various departments. Um, leave the departments, like I said, in prep, and then near the very end, you do a tech scout where you talk out in exceeding detail everything you're going to do on every day of the shoot and every location. Then on shoot days, once we begin shooting, it's basically my responsibility to make sure all the departments are prepped. And I kind of run the day, I run the set. When you go to a film set, you won't hear the director saying, here we go, places, rehearsal, that's me. I'm doing that kind of thing so that I can free up all the logistics from the director and the DP so they can just focus completely on the creative. And it's, it's kind of an odd job because I have to set the pace of the day, I have to sequence all the work, um, make sure that all the details are, are where they should be, and I'm the one that kind of has to sit back and go big picture so that each department can focus on just their departments uh, as they should. So it's, it's just a lot of uh, actively running the set, running the crew, making time decisions, and uh, making sure that we make our schedule and get the day done. That's what I do in that show. As soon as we're done filming, I am done. So I am an on-set dresser primarily these days. Um, it's a niche I kind of fell into um, after discovered that it was a job that was more available than fighting for the prop jobs, which aren't as, anyway. Um, but uh, the, the on-set dresser job is uh, one that originally, years ago, uh, fell into the prop department, and it was an additional prop person for dealing with the prop person. They would deal with the furniture and, and all that stuff. And somewhere along the way, it broke off and became its own position, and unfortunately, never really has received a very good explanation as to how to do it. Most people get thrown into it and have to figure it out on their own. So my version of it, um, which differs from a lot of other people, um, I get hired and I usually start uh, several days before uh, production actually starts rolling. Um, I get the script, I break it down, I see what sets we're dealing with. 
Um, I sit down and have a long involved conversation with the designer and the decorator and um, the lead man and eventually I start working closely with the, the uh, I'm so bad at this, I'm always winging it. Um, <laughs> the art director, um, about uh, things that are going to be important, things that are going to be coming up, things that need to be um, taken care of while they're at home at night. Um, because I am usually the eyes and ears at the art department on set uh, when the cameras are rolling. Um, my job uh, encompasses uh, continuity, uh, working closely with the script supervisor and making sure that that's always there and that's always here and these are always here and facing this way and um, all the way to the pictures that are crooked on your wall that are turning you nuts, I want to go fix them. <laughs> but anyway, um, no, things like that. Um, I deal with that. It has nothing to do with work. A lot of people think it's, it's dressing things, but although I did get to put Mr. Rogers sweaters in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, so continuity is a really important part of my job. Um, the best explanation I just got on my last movie, that Denzel Washington never learned my name, but he kept reporting to me as that redhead that's always crawling on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I am filthy 24 hours a day. I'm clean for about five minutes in the morning. So, like, you know. <laughs> well, I wear like two different hats. My, my friends say I wear both sides of the street, if you know what I mean. But, um, uh, I'm the director of uh, undergraduate studies for broadcasting at Pitt. So what that means is during the day, uh, I am uh, teaching broadcast classes, and I'm lucky enough because I'm the one that got to design the broadcast classes, as well as uh, in the midst of designing a whole broadcast major for the University of Pittsburgh. So I get to do that all day and get to work with wonderful students like yourself, which I'm very fortunate to uh, have that opportunity. Uh, the other hat. Um, I'm actually also uh, a screenwriter and developing executives. I still do the screenwriting, despite Hollywood being 2,600 miles away. And um, um, that, in, that entails basically when I have ideas for shows, uh, whether it's a television, uh, television ep uh, episodic, or a feature film, um, as well as I get uh, hired a lot by different companies to, uh, if they have projects out in LA, I'll get vetted for different projects. And uh, they'll bring me on to uh, write based on my skill set or things that I'd like to write about. Um, and they'll have me come in and be one of the writers uh, for polished projects in Hollywood. And then these people take over because I don't have their talent. And at that point, they get to take all those little elements and put the film together. So I'm the guy that kind of comes up with the ideas that they got to try to figure out how to make it happen. Uh, and then, uh, lucky enough, they, sometimes they get me. Nice, nice thing. Um, so, my next question, I want to know how you got where you are, or how each of you began getting work. You know, tell me a story, or uh, how did, how did you, uh, I'm interested in, I think for many of these students, they, they may not see how you end up, like, here. Um, and so I'm interested in maybe an early job that sort of helped propel you, or how you got there. It actually started in